Madonna. Una donna, queen di Gianni. Means woman, so I guess I would say American woman. I don't know the rest of that one. Today, friends, I'm obsessed with Christina Pluhar. Who is Christina Pluhar, you might ask. That is a good question. I'm gonna tell you. So what I did is I pulled together five clips of the Christina Pluhar and L'Arpeggiata like versions of these things, plus what they usually would sound like in their like original iteration so that we can kind of hear the difference. They slaps like 800 times. I'm trying to be relevant with the kids. So, you can get tired of it. But this is how our good friend Christina decided to interpret it. This doesn't sound like candle. Not to me. But wait. She did! So good! Genius. I love it when people are smart. We're doing Guess the Voice. I have picked five different singers and picked three clips each from them and I'm trying to share some of my favorite voices and uh, see if they are able to guess them. I don't know. Oh, I might know. Oh, now I know. Crazy. Oh. This is Joseph Latanzi's obsession. Take one. I love Anamofo. I love you, Anamofo. You're dead. Cue it up. I mean, like, come on. She has everything. And she's 24 years old. It's a huge success. How great is that? But she had a up nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, she did get a nose job. I think it's a pretty good one. Pretty elegant. Moves to Italy, turns into a bombshell. Come on. That's smart. I'm obsessed. Her face had to look good. You can't be singing and looking good. She was trading on those looks. She was lip syncing for her life in 1960 Italy. Obsessed. I believe this is pure conjecture. Anamofo knew what people wanted. She knew she had to be beautiful. She knew she had a chance to reinvent herself in Italy, right? And she did it. There's never a moment in an Anamofo recording on TV ever where she doesn't take the high note. Ever. <laughs> What is better than a scandal? People love that. Comes back on stage to save the day that she already ruined and gets 32 curtain calls. She's a genius. The sort of infamous Met broadcast of Lucia. Look into your hearts of hearts and tell me. It's not worse than this. <laughs> Fadis wants it to be over. What did she do when her voice faltered? Took her clothes off. And that's smart too. She's a star. That's what stars do. Get naked and sing high notes. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> anyway, can't use that. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. Sound is 
rolling. Video rolling. Have you ever fallen on stage? Okay, I have fallen on stage like five times. Yes, I've fallen on stage uh, many, many times. I have fallen on stage, yes. Honestly, I can't remember ever falling on stage. No, no, no. If your life was a musical, what would the marquee say? Sold out. <laughs> uh, money back guarantee. Feel free to leave it intermission. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> If you could do a love scene with anyone, who would it be? If you could do a love scene with anyone, who would it be? Brad Pitt, absolutely. It's always been Brad Pitt. It's been Brad Pitt since I was 12. It's always been Brad Pitt. It's still old Brad Pitt, too. Ah, what a good question. Anyone, anyone. Um... If you could do a love scene with anyone, who would it be? <clears throat> like. Over underrated Zoom recitals. Zoom recitals. Zoom recitals. Uh, overrated or underrated Zoom recitals. 